We are headed to the first Costa Series stop of the season on Lake Amistad. That's nice. Well, I'm pulling into the driveway right now. Have arrived one flat tire later to Del Rio, Texas. First morning of practice, it is Saturday. The Sooners play tonight. Boomer Sooner. Amistad has a lot of grass in it. Really mild winter so far. And I do not like fishing grass. I'm going to try to stick with my, what I call my strengths today. I love drop shot and I love throwing a spoon. Water's probably a little bit warm for it based on what I've been able to figure out, but today's gonna be a lot of idling. I'm gonna give it probably 10 solid hours of just idling drops. Try to find some groups of fish that I can drop on with a drop shot, drop on with a spoon and if it doesn't work, that way I got it out of my system and I can go try to figure out the grass and the A-rig deal. If it does work, then I got four more days to do it. I'm gonna go over into Mexico, an area pretty much known for catching fish on drop shots. All right, here we go. So I've always heard of this, never actually seen it before. That's pretty cool. That was awesome. I came right up off that draw, saw him, spun around. I know I should be like making waypoints and then coming back and checking them later. But man, I just sit there and just draft, 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 and I see them. I want to know what they are. So I spun around first drop. Bam. Another keeper. So definitely make a mark on this one.
good one. Get off. Oh, that thing is pegged. That fish is probably about a two and three quarter to three. Day two, back on Amistad, back up the Rio Grande, back to looking at the graph. Liked what I found yesterday, found three or four spots that had fish on it, drop shot, see if I can add another five or six today. It's not exciting, but at the end of the day, hopefully it gets the job done. I came up here into Cow Creek on day two, and when I was here last summer for Kirk Dove's youth camp, I was catching them good on a Ned rig and a jerk bait. Just decided to slow down a little bit and fish. I'd graft for an hour or two. Caught four on a jerk bait, one keeper, but just caught two off of a uh, really steep point boat sitting in about 60 foot of water. So there's a couple other points up here. I'm going to try those out. See if you can't get on maybe a little bit of a pattern. I mean, five of those would only weigh eight pounds, but there's some fish in here. Wrapping up. Day two of practice. Found no schools of fish. Caught one keeper. It was not ideal. Two and a half more days though. Tomorrow's Alabama rig and grass. I did learn where I do not want to be. Day three, morning. At the one stop here in Del Rio, pretty much everybody stops at this gas station uh, before putting in a Diablo East. Yesterday sucked. I, uh, I caught a keeper. I think I had two keepers on a jerk bait, but I went back up to Mexico, kind of messed around with that area, passed box again where I had the drop shot fish on day one. The game plan was to do that for two days, find something that I felt like I could catch a limit on, and then spend two and a half days down here A rigging. That's what we're gonna do. It's cold, it's 36 degrees.
and I finally have a co-angler now. Mm. Sid, I've been jacking around by myself, and I got Sid now. St. Angelo, Falcon Lake. No. Yeah, uh, Twin Buttes, Ivy. Amistad expert? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> not, not at all. He quit playing tennis to fish, though, so we're going to go out with Sid. He's fishing it as a co-angler in this event, and uh, see what we can find today. There's ice. There's ice on the boat and on the truck. Not what I was hoping for. When I come for Kurt Dove's youth camp in the summertime, there's a, an area that I really like fishing, and I have not messed with that in two days. Like I said, I'm gonna stay close today, throw the A-rig, the jerk bait. Actually kind of start to fish, you know, it's Monday. We have Tuesday and then Wednesday, uh, half a day on Wednesday, and then the tournament starts, but Man, that's a heck of a view. All right, productive day today. That's the goal. Not so much worried about catching fish, but understanding where the fish are. It's all about understanding. If you understand it, then I think you can figure it out. In the that was the last speed bump. Came out hay rigging a little bit of grass and caught one two pounder out of the back of the boat and then I just had one hit my A-rig so kinda that's how I was kinda hoping it would go. So kind of just scattered grass out here in 12 foot. So good start on the first spot today. Exactly what I was hoping we'd find. Yeah, it looks like a, yeah. Send it. I caught him and he's a giant. I don't know, he's in a tree. Yeah, he's a good one. Small man. Can you believe I caught that fish? <laughs> Saw that fish. That's a keeper, isn't it? Probably right on the line. Yeah. Oh, let me check. Saw that one mark on the graph. Dropped down and caught him. Smallmouth out of a tree. I think he's a keeper. Oh yeah, he's 15 inches.
there's three three bites in five minutes off of one little spot little drop saw one fish on the screen and actually caught that one and then just kind of milled around and there were a couple more there so I feel confident I can come back and catch a few off this spot so about six hours of idling between yesterday and today to find that one keep going take it well it's about five o'clock on day three of practice ran over to the mexican islands do a little drop shotting but uh found three four schools of fish today on the drop shot nothing big but uh means to an end like i said i'm looking for nine ten pounds a day i think would would do pretty good here i could be way off on that but uh finally had a nice day was able to get out of the hydronaut for a day uh, and tomorrow I think uh, I'm either going to uh, look for some power fishing, go back to some grass, maybe try to expand on that A-rig stuff that we got going earlier today, uh, caught a fish or two, had a couple swim through it, or maybe try to find two or three more schools within three, four miles of where I fished today, and then uh, call this one a drop shot derby. We'll see how it goes. It is just getting light, morning of day four of practice. I've had an interesting practice so far. I had one, what I would consider a good day, and that was the first day. I had a horrible second day yesterday. And I can convince myself that it was good. I can convince myself that it was bad. Definitely not on winning fish. Not even sure I'm on check cashing fish. But I'm getting bit slowly starting to understand it but there is one thing that i do not understand and that is catching the fish out of these drains i know it is a thing and i am wrestling between do i go try to do what is a thing that i am not a hundred percent comfortable doing or do i try to expand on what i'm a hundred percent comfortable doing knowing that it is not the thing to be doing to be fishing on saturday i don't think at least so that's kind of what I'm wrestling with. I think I'm going to kind of give it a shot. If it doesn't feel right, I'm just going to follow my gut and do what I think I need to do today to put myself in position, cash a good check, and stay in this thing. play had two boats passing <laughs> hooked up on the a rig off of that point about a two pounder good start definitely on to something right here 
definitely on to something. So here's the deal. <clears throat> really not expecting much today. Just gonna go huck an Alabama rig. Kind of went in the back of an area, got on some grass lines, got a couple of bites quick, and that kind of showed me how I think I need to be working my Alabama rig. Ran into John Sukup, who made the Forest Wood Cup last year, fishes with me uh, in the Bass Nation in Oklahoma, and we decided to just kind of start kind of working together and eliminating uh, or finding more productive areas that have kind of the same similar stuff as far as grass is related. Kind of got it dialed in. I think I've had seven or eight keeper bites today out of it all on the Alabama rig. So still have one more day, but this just feels like it's the right thing to be doing. Uh, and then throw in the drop shot fish in case, uh, in case it goes away, but I think this is the right thing to be doing to, to cash a check and I think it's the right thing to be doing to catch a big fish too. It is the final morning of practice here on Lake Amistad. Brad Holman got in last night. He's already headed out to, uh, to the lake. It's 39 and raining. It's a great day to be on the water. I'm going to try to expand on what I found yesterday. Finally started catching some out of some grassy drains on the A-Rig. I'm going to go out for five, six hours today. The meeting is at two and see if I can add one or two more of those to the repertoire. That would give me four or five grass spots, about six or seven spots that I can drop on them with a drop shot. Finding some stuff out of the wind, it's supposed to blow over 20 tomorrow and then be dead slick calm on Friday. So a lot of variables going into this one. I'm gonna meet Gary at the boat ramp here in about 30 minutes. We'll be on the road and on the water. Final morning of practice. Well, just pulled off the water practices officially over at Amistad. <laughs> Today sucked for about the first 90% and then in the last half hour, uh, caught a nice one on a, a bluff end and then ran three more bluff ends and caught one within the first two or three casts, keepers on an A-rig. So, kind of pumped about that. Now it's time for tackle prep, then the meeting. Did not get nearly as much tackle done. I actually did not get any tackle done. All right, we are headed to the meeting. My first Costa meeting. Not this guy's first Costa meeting. No. Second. Uh, so you saw today, it was 
not very much fun on the water. Brad, how did today go for you? Sucked. <laughs> it it sucked. It sucked for both of us. Uh, have no idea if those fish are gonna stay on the rocks. Don't know when I'm gonna go check them. If I'm gonna go check them, could have just been fun to catch them today. I'll show you the lake here in. If you have any questions, again, please see me or Ron. As soon as we get done, I'll answer any questions we got. I'd like to thank everybody for coming. The meeting is over. We're back at Kurt's house. And now it's time to rig some tackle. Pretty basic setup this week. Alabama rig and a drop shot. That's pretty much all I'm going to have. A couple different Alabama rigs, a couple different drop shots. Supposed to be 15 to 25 mile an hour winds tomorrow. A little heavier drop shot. Hopefully I won't have to drop shot. I don't know. I made a $5 signed bet with Jeff Sprague that I'd have more weight within him though. Sprague's fishing. Yeah. Oh, it was a who's who's me. There was a group standing together talking that consisted of Tommy Martin, Rick Clun, and Denny Brower. Nice. And then I walked over to another group and I did not join the circle. It was Brad Holman, Jeff Sprague, Ray Hanselman, Russell Cecil, and Todd Castledine. Nice. I'm gonna start in the grass. I'm not good in the grass, but I caught him in the grass. I think that's the best bet to, uh, to hit the double digits tomorrow, so. Gonna A rig some grass, get some A rigs together, glue some heads on, get everything ready, and uh, probably only have five or six rods rigged for tomorrow. It's gonna happen on those.